Hey guys, it's Joel and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to episode four of Soft Top Showdown. Today, one that I'm extremely, extremely excited about because my friend Josh has brought down his stunning, I have to say, 986 generation Porsche Boxster S. So let's get right into it. Cool then, so thank you so much for bringing um, the Porsche down today to uh, come up uh, against my Z4. Would you mind telling us a little bit about sort of how long you've had it, why you bought it, and also just, just what it is? Okay, so this is my Porsche Boxster S um, 986. It's 2002. I bought it, had no intentions of buying a Porsche, or any car, because I've got two cars already. I was at work, my boss used to own this car, and so he's like always badgering me like, oh, you need to get a Porsche, try it out, and see what it's like. There's lots of cheap ones out there for like three and a half K to like eight K, seven K. But anyway, yeah, I went home that day after chatting to him about it and found his old car up for sale. And I was like, okay, is this not your old car? And he was like, yeah, that's my old car. You need to buy it. Like, it's like literally everything's been done on it. It's like top, top example of a Porsche Boxster S of this year. Um, and yeah, he just back and forth all evening, like you need to go see it. And if you go see it, you're going to buy it. So yeah, I went over to see it, met the guy. And there was actually, it's a funny story, there was actually a guy coming to view it um, all the way from the Cotswolds at 11. And I went down there at 10 and the guy turned around to me and said, I've got this other guy coming, like, do you want to buy it? And I said, I, I don't know, like, this is a big decision, but I just, f*** it, i buy it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I bought it. I felt really bad for the other guy because he still came down and he had to, like, unsell it to him. Um, and he'd been looking for months for a car. But yeah, so bought it, went home, got insurance, whatever, it's actually pretty reasonable. Yeah, and then picked it up the next day and I've had it about three weeks, a month, um, and I've loved every second of it. Don't Perfect. regret it at all. Perfect. Is there any, so what, because this has got, it's not quite standard, is it? Yeah, so There's it a few modifications. It's, yeah, it's had a few, but they look quite OEM, well, they are OEM, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you've got, firstly, like, GT3 front bumper and side skirts, which I feel like is a must on this car. Like, if you see them without it, it's just like a different car. Mm. Um, it's also been lowered on h &R springs, not sure what height, but they sort of fill the arches nicely. Uh, it's got Khan wheels, which who knows who put them on, but I kind of like them. They're like a bit Marmite. Some people don't like them, but they're different. Like everyone has the Porsche twist wheels or whatever. That's really noisy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Khan wheels. It's got like, everyone says this is like a poor man's 911 because it's got like the 3.2 litre engine. It's mid-engined it's got the same brakes as a 911 um, which are uprated obviously um, it's had some exhaust tinkerings like i think the, the previous owner bought it and it was stock he didn't want to put an aftermarket one on because you're going to spend like thousands doing that and it's just really not worth it a lot of people do like the like a backbox delete or whatever mm. so he just took it to a place local to here um, and they just did something take, taking baffles out of the exhaust or something bypassing a pipe or whatever. So yeah, it sounds pretty fruity. That'll be interesting actually to hear in comparison to um, the Z4. How loud they are, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously both being six cylinder. Jag. Won't sound like that though, will <laughs> it? No, no, not quite. <laughs> but yeah, the interior is pretty standard, but it's in good-ish condition. The roof's a bit like, you know, soft tops of this age, they're a bit warm, but yeah. I have it down most of the time. So yeah, that's about it really. Cool, no, that sounds that sounds good. We should, uh, we should probably do some challenges then. Yeah, let's do it. Rightio, so let's have a little look at the boxer's sort of creature comforts and slash practicality. We'll combine these two um, today in this challenge because there's a few other things we want to test. So, yeah, what, what's it got on the interior? Um, so as far as options, there wasn't a whole lot of options you could spec on these cars. Like, there was the odd one like Bose sound system, which you would have here, but we just have a cupboard. It's obviously got an aftermarket radio, which is, I feel like, a must, because the other one looks kind of shit, and you can plug your orcs in and charge your phone or whatever. Doesn't have cruise control. Have you got anything like heated seats? 
Nope. No heated no seats. No heated seats. You've got electric seats though, haven't got you? Got electric seats, yeah, I guess they're an option. And um, like electric windows, they're pretty standard in a, in a 986 Porsche. Yeah. Aren't they? Um, it's got what? a nice steering wheel, which is sometimes you get like really clunky looking ones, or like the Tiptronic one's horrible, like you've got that up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, that's just horrible. Uh, white dials, I think that's just standard, but it's kind of cool. Um, it's it's kind of got that classic key thing for the Porsche. Like obviously on newer Porsches, you have the, the actual physical, like looks like a car and you put it in, but old school key. Um, doesn't have aircon that I know of. It's got some pretty. Oh, there's no aircon. Well, I don't know. You got this old. It's um, that, but I don't know what that does. Interesting. It's never blown. I'm cold. sure it must. It must do. It might I mean, do. I mean. A daylight today, really you want it really, don't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> I guess you get in the car to drive it, don't it, you? Exactly. <laughs> uh, it's got some pretty cool Porsche cup holders. Um, that is quite cool, actually. Yeah, glove box, pretty small. Glove box. Two little things there. And you don't have you do you don't have door bins, so to speak. But you've got a have they're you got like, like a little. They're like little cubby holes. Really useful, actually. They're really deep. Um, and you've just got that, so you can rest your arm. Yeah. Uh, you've got like a little cubby hole here, which yeah. is locked, so you can store all your stuff when you've got the roof down, and you don't want to put it back up every time you park. And is that storage behind the seat there? Uh, well? You've got like these cupboards. That's the Bose, cool. The Bose sound system would literally fit I in see, there. I see, I see. Not many people did spec these cars up. Again, it's a I think. Car, isn't it? Yeah, you buy it as a driver's car, don't you? So most people, this would probably be a second car for them back in the day, and exactly. uh, they wouldn't need all of the creature comfort, so to speak. Um, you've got electric roof, which is quite useful. Yes. Um, and it's actually surprisingly quick. You can't do it without the handbrake on though, which is okay. quite annoying. So you can't cruise along at like 20. In, so that has to be down. stopped. You have to be stopped. That's the same as mine. I mean, you can you can start it when you're stopped and then creep forward at like five miles an hour, but oh, really? it, you okay. basically have to be stopped. Okay. And last thing, do you have, is there like different uh, levels of stability management or traction control? I don't think so. Like, I don't. I don't What's that know. PSM button? Oh, that is, I think that might be. That'd be traction off. Course, it's pretty like it's pretty. In, it doesn't interfere that much. Like no. if you burn off a junction, it will just wheel spin, and then you keep your foot flat. It will just sort itself. That's out. pretty handy. Um, it yeah, the Z4's traction control is pretty intrusive, is so it? you have to have it off okay. basically to get most of the power. No, I need to try it off maybe. Um, <laughs> but I've never really yeah felt like it's kicking in or anything. I mean, so I, I think I've mentioned I'm not going to um, sort of score this challenge so much. Yeah. Because um, as you'll know as well, like my previous episodes, I've shown the Z4's interior yeah. every single time. Yeah. Um, so we're not going to score it and benchmark that against the Z4. But I think, I think what you say is important that actually the creature comforts and amenities inside aren't aren't exactly um, the, the most important thing. Exactly. Like you got a steering wheel. Stick, engine. It's a car. Yeah, exactly. And it is like these seats are very, they're not like, they're, I think they're the standard seats, but they're very, very comfortable. Okay. Like it's a very stiff car, but it's very comfortable. Um, it's also got massive boots. That's massive boots. That's what we should look at. Uh, yeah, let's check out the boots. Oh, because of course it's got two, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it's got one in the front, one in the back. So so you say that, so there's one at the one at the back and one at the front. Yeah, so obviously well. the engine's just here. Yeah. So you've got this big space. You could chuck a couple of bags if you're going overnight somewhere which is quite decent because um, i guess the 911 porsche that's the engine the engine yeah, would be here so you only yeah. have the front exactly um, um so yeah that's i just mainly use that one so yeah obviously, obviously space saver but it goes right to the floor in there it's practical i'd say you could take like you could take this around europe and you'd be fine yeah like, that's absolutely. enough space for and you've even got a spare wheel in there as well exactly so as i said i won't go into much detail on the z4 sort of creature comforts and, and storage space today because there are another i think three soft top showdown episodes where i have done exactly that so go back and watch those if you want to know more about specifically this car's practicality and stuff um, but yeah, just very briefly, I've got things like cruise control, electric seats, I've got a cup holder over there, which is nicely being demonstrated by the Starbucks I had on the way here. Um, electric roof, just like the Porsche, and various sort of storage compartments, uh, including glove box um, in the car. And then I think you've all seen the boot before, and you can go back and look at other episodes to see that. But it is rather large, although I don't have a boot at the front like the Porsche. So yeah, obviously it's not really scored on this one, like I say. Um, but we're going to get onto the more important challenges and more exciting challenges with these two cars. Okay, so in this episode of Soft Top Showdown, we're going to do a challenge that we haven't done before. And this is because, well, these cars are quite similar in a lot of aspects. So this will be an interesting one. Uh, we're going to do power to weight ratio comparison. So we're basically going to get the figure 
of the brake horsepower per tonne for each car and see which one is the best. I have an inkling yours is going to win this, <laughs> however we should do it anyway. So to work it out, it is, uh, what did we say? I think it's the power divided by the weight. So in my case, 231 brake horsepower divided around, uh, I think 1,370 kilos, something like that. And if I times that by 100, or sorry, 1,000, that'll give me 1,000 kilograms worth of power, which is 169 brake horsepower. Okay, so mine is uh, 1,295 weight. Okay, uh, so lighter. 260 brake. Ah. <laughs> so working that out, power divided by weight. Yeah, and then times by 1,000. Yeah, is 200.77. Wow, so that is massively more actually. That's like a good 30, right? 20, 30 percent. Yeah. Right? yeah. Wow. Okay. That's nice. Maybe that's because the engine's in the front of yours, and that's a boxer engine. It's more compact. I don't know. Potentially, I guess Porsche are known for making lightweight, lightweight. sort of cars. Yeah. True. Um, maybe the, I think the Z4 was probably designed as more of a sort of Grand Tour. Yeah, cruiser. exactly. So it doesn't surprise me actually, and I knew that you were slightly up on power. But yeah, that's quite actually that's quite a significant uh, increase on, yeah. on cars like this. So, yeah. uh, well, there you go. There is uh, pretty much, I guess, the first score challenge goes to the box there. <laughs> okay, so it's now time for the Z4 to pull a point back. It is time for the soft top showdown challenge. Uh, if you haven't seen an episode before, this is where we both run into our cars in a very uncivilized way in a moment put our roofs all the way up and then all the way back down. Whoever does it first wins this challenge. So, are you ready? I'm ready. You understand the rules? Yeah, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's fairly simple, isn't Yeah, it? yeah. You're an intelligent man. <laughs> right, three, two, one, go. That's a victory for the Z4. I didn't know what to expect on that one, to be honest. Well, there you go. If, uh, if you're actually worried about how quickly you can put the roof up and down, if you're deciding between one of these cars, the Z4 is the car for you. Um, but really, it's not that much of a concern for most people, I don't think. Yeah. Interestingly, so you, you mentioned earlier, yours, you have to be stopped with the handbrake on. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, which is kind of annoying. That's more important, I suppose. It's the same with mine, though. So oh, okay. I think, as I said, you have to be stopped to start it, yeah. and then you can roll forward like two miles an hour. But, uh, I guess that's just the age of the cars. Old cars, they didn't have that technology exactly. where you roll. Exactly. Yeah. But there wasn't much in that. No, there wasn't much in. But, but yeah, that was just a bit of fun. But uh, there you go. That that brace that basically evens the scores out now. So uh, one all, one all between two cars. Next challenge. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. So again, for the first time in the Soft Top Showdown series, we are going to do a new challenge. Now this is because, again, these cars are quite similar. And as we mentioned earlier, the Boxster as well as the Z4 have had uh, a back box modification. So we are going to do a rev off, and we can't really score this. Um, because it is all subjective, I suppose, yeah, exactly. isn't it? So this one really for you guys is uh, for you to decide which one you think sounds the best. So um, yeah, I guess all we have to do here is just make as much noise as possible. <laughs> There we have it. I have to say, your Boxster sounds amazing. Like, it sounds so, so good. I love the like tone of it. It's very different. Yeah. yeah it's... What did you think of the Z4? Oh. Do you like it? Yeah, it's a lovely sound. Because for me, I, I think I prefer the like tone of that. Really? But then I like the backfire that we get on the yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, nice. so, um, But yeah, up to you guys to decide on this one. We can't really sort of say 
the Z4 or the box that wins because it is subjective. You can vote which one you think sounds the best by clicking on the, uh, the little vote call out on the top right hand side of the screen. Uh, but if you haven't quite made your mind up, then listen to these GoPro shots right next to the exhaust when the cars are driving um, and that will give you a slightly better idea. If you've made your mind up, great. If not, I don't blame you because I think they both sound fantastic. Would you agree? Yeah. yeah. So that, uh, well, I don't know, what, what did that do for the points? I suppose uh, you won the storage space, I won the soft top thing, you won the power to weight ratio. So you're technically just up at the moment. Yeah. So that means we've got, well, we've got room for one more challenge. We're not going to do the wild card challenge today because I want to make these episodes a little bit shorter. So. The last challenge we're going to do today and the last chance for my Z4 to claw back a draw is a 0 to 60 test. So let's go and find somewhere cool to do that. And uh, well yeah, let's just let's sprag these cars. Okay, so challenge number four is the 0 to 60 challenge. We've got to be quick. Um, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be the Boxster first and we'll see which is quicker, Boxster or Z4. I've got a stopwatch. Are you ready? Yeah. If you just shout at me when you hit 60, okay. then uh, I'll stop the timer. Okay, three, two, one, now. So as you, you say you haven't really done that before, and it wasn't, it wasn't the best launch, was it? So for you, we can do another one. Okay. Uh, it's got to be better though. It's okay. got to be better. So I'll reset the timer. I'm not going to rev it up if that's all. Yeah, okay. do whatever you think's fastest. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, now. I don't know, maybe it's just lost power over the years. Yeah, I or think it, it's all shitting. in the launch. Yeah, it's probably, the, yeah. Because there was a jolt again. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I could get it and do it, and do it perfectly, but... Should we uh, jump in the Z4 and do an all 16 that? Yeah. All You're right. going to smash it. Three, two, one. Here we are in the Z4 then. Uh, right, so what have I got to beat? 7.1? Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm challenge sure. accepted. <laughs> yeah, it's not very, it is a really, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit for those of you in the US. Uh, that's about 29, 30 degrees. 32 degrees centigrade, so the cars are going to be slower than normal. True. Okay. The heat. The tarmac should be hot though. The tarmac should be, <laughs> should be more grippy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go traction control off. Okay. Uh, and sport mode. Hazards off. Right. Uh, it's position in front of that camera. And then if you want to give me a countdown, I'm okay. ready to go. Three, two, one. one. Your car's probably faster. 
maybe I didn't turn traction off though. Maybe it's maybe that, traction, yeah, that maybe that was your traction pick. Seven point one. So that's exactly the same. Yeah. I think it's only fair I get another one there. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? Let's do it. Yes. Right. I get a second turn. Um, I don't actually think I can do better than that. I'm not going to lie. Know. I think that was quite good for me. Um, I don't. Should I build the revs more? Should I build them less? It felt like a good launch. Did it? Yeah. All right. Let's go for another one. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I mean, so that, that's a point for the Z4. Yeah. Yes. Mean, I didn't expect that. No. I mean, on paper, it's, yours... It's so smooth. Yours is 5.6 on paper. This is uh, 5.9. Given how much we will span there, we will span for a good five seconds. So I reckon... <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. But let's, let's put it this way. I mean, both of us have done pretty shockingly. Yeah. Given that we're, well, we're a second, second, yeah, yeah. second and a half off. What we so I, get. The thing is with that is I don't know how much that's to do with me, the driver, you, the yeah. driver, or how much is to do with tyres, tyres, age of the engine. True. Oh, well, that was good fun, anyway. Yeah. Well, that's a point for the Z4. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just want to win. Yeah. LA BB who I'm on 10 again. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of the video. The 0 60 was fun, actually, and quite surprising. Literally nothing in it. Yeah, so close. But um, both of us did pretty terribly, let's face it. We should have Shocking. should have been in the sixes, at least. Um, now, just before I do finish, I realise now, because Josh mentioned, we hadn't actually done the Instagram poll challenge. Now, if you've watched any previous episodes, I always take a picture of the two cars, put it on Instagram, and allow you guys to vote on which one you would drive away in based on looks. And uh, yeah, Josh reminded me that we hadn't done that. So I did it just now and we'll check the poll on my phone as a very last sort of challenge to see which one you guys have voted for. So if I go on to it now, it's only been up for about 20 minutes or so and that is surprising. So there are 26 votes for the Z4 yeah. and only 21 for the oh, Boxster. So 55% Z4 45% Boxster S. That's surprising actually. Yeah, it's quite close, but yeah. And I think, I mean, it's fair to point out, as you guys do in the comments, I have a large, large Z4 following, so I think the results are slightly skewed there. Um, but that's very interesting nonetheless. So, yeah. all in all, I can't think what the scoring is. It's basically two all to the Z4, if you don't count that Instagram poll. So, very evenly matched cars in, in the ways that we've compared them today. Um, but really, the point system means nothing because I think they're both fabulous cars in their own right. Yeah. I certainly am very interested in the Boxster S and would even be tempted to maybe have one in the future. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's just been fun basically making this video. So thank you so much, Josh, for uh, coming down, giving up your time today. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please do comment below anything you'd like to see in upcoming episodes. And uh, also, you can go and follow me on Instagram. Yeah, Josh uh, I'll, stick, I'll stick the link down below. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon.